Good day, everybody. How are you all? Hope you are doing great. So here's the problem we are going to solve. So solve by completing square and applying the square root property. So let's uh, write the problem again. 4x squared plus 12x plus 5, uh, sorry, equal to 5. So let me complete that. Equal to 5. So we have to complete the square and apply the square root property. So the first thing will be divide by 4 on both sides. On both sides. So we will get 4x squared divided by 4 plus 12 divided by 4 times x equal to 5 over 4. So we can write this as x squared plus 12 divided by 4 is 3x and that is equal to 5 over 4. Now we will work with the coefficient of x which is 3. Okay, so we will add a term here which will make the left hand side add n on both sides on both sides so that the expression on the left hand side of the equal to sign side of the equal to sign is a complete, is a perfect square. So what is n? n is equal to half of the coefficient of x on the left hand side which is 3 half times 3 and then it has to be a square unit and it is squared okay so n is a square term and n is equal to then half uh, is 3 by 2 square which is 9 over 4. Okay, so let me create some space. And this I want to make sure it's written as 3 over 2. So it is uh, 3 over 2 square, which is 9 over 6. So now we added n on both sides. And the goal is to make the left-hand side a perfect square. So x square plus, uh, now 3x can be written as, there's nothing in front of 3x, assume it's 1. So 2 divided by 2 multiplied by 3, because 2 divided by 2 is 1, which does not change anything. For n, I write as 9 by 4 is equal to 5 by 4 on the right hand side plus n, which is 9 over 4. So this expression on the left hand side can be written as x square plus 2 times 3 by 2x plus 9 by 4 we know is 3 by 2 square 
is equal to on the right hand side common denominator is 4 9 plus 5 is 14 now if you remember the perfect square a plus b square is equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square so in my case my a is x in this particular case on the left hand side and the term b sorry b is equal to 3 by 2 okay let me clear this confusion so a is equal to x b is equal to 3 by 2 so this is this left hand side is equal to a plus b square which is A is x, sorry, x, and b is 3 by 2 square, perfect square, is equal to 14 over 4. Now we will utilize the square root property. So we will take square root on both sides. What we do on one side of the equation has to be done on the other side. So if we take the square root on the left hand side, we have to take the square root on the right hand side too. Okay, and this is plus and a minus. Why plus and a minus? Because uh, if you have, uh, say you have square root of 14 over 4, the minus part, and if you square it, it is equal to <coughs> minus square root of 14 over 4 times minus square root of 14 over 4, which makes it 2 minuses cancel out. It is 14 squared divided by 4 squared inside the square root is 14 over 4. So this is separate. Okay, so therefore a minus sign is also a possibility. And now I will make this a little bit up. So we get x x plus 3 by 2 on the left hand side is equal to plus minus square root of 14 and we this we know 4 is 2 square okay so x plus 3 by 2 is equal to plus minus square root of 14 divided by 2 okay so x and then i subtract the 3 by 2 from the left hand side because i want to separate x i want to solve for x so if I subtract from the left-hand side, I have to subtract on the right-hand side too of the equal to sign. So x is equal to minus 3 by 2 plus minus square root of 14 by 2, which you can simplify since 2 is the common denominator, is minus 3 plus minus square root of 14. That is the solution for X and that is the answer. I stop here today. If you have any question or comment, please write to me. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. An important tip or hint I wanted to give you is that remember when you take the square root on the right hand side, you have to take the minus sign into consideration along with the plus sign. Because as I showed to you, minus square root of 14 over 4 square is also 14 over 4. So minus is a, another solution along with the plus. That's why you have plus minus sign on the right hand side. Again, I stop here today. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you like this video, share with your friends, you and your friends, subscribe to my channel, Math Science Topia, where I've solved all kinds of algebra problem just for you. And please do not forget to check me out or to visit my channel tomorrow when I'll come back with another algebra problem, another solution. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Take care. See you.